Hey Garage Journal, this is Geo Bruin here. Uh, there's a discussion going on about these Langmuir arc flat welding tables and sort of accuracy out of the box or flatness, I guess we'll say. Um, I don't even know what the claimed flatness of this is. I wasn't you know, that hung up on that at the time. I just thought it was a great way uh, to get into a 5 8 kind of hold down clamping system. Uh, and it was small enough to fit my small shop, so it was perfect for me. Uh, but I've got it, and and I do happen to have these, you know, relatively inexpensive, but for my purposes, very effective straight edges. Um, and so I thought I'd do a few measurements here. I I can't attest to how accurate or how flat or straight my straight edges are. All I can tell you is that I have two of them. Uh, different lengths and when I put them together there's not even daylight between them so all that tells us is that they're the same not necessarily that they're flat but I think it's very unlikely that the two of them are uh, very far out identically so we'll assume that that's the best straight edge I've got to work with and then I've got some shim stock here which really is just a feeler gauge that I've taken apart and I've got a, a three thou, four thou, and five thou uh, feeler gauge that I'll use to kind of demonstrate um, flatness, I guess. So first test is just right across the middle. Um, I'll take my three thou shim, see if I can squeeze it under there. Looks like it's maybe trying to go underneath in the middle. Um, I think a good test is to lift it up set it on top of the shim and see if it slides around. So I'm getting a little bit of resistance. Uh, four thou shim won't slide under it and moves around, you know, so we're probably somewhere around three to four thou out right here in the middle. And I started there because I knew, I felt like I've probably got a little bit of a dish there in the middle, but nowhere else from edge to edge can I get this three thou shim under there at all. Um, you know, so again, three thou easily slides around. All right, so we'll go across one end, about like that. Same three thou shim. Try to slide it under at the edges. Doesn't want to go anywhere along here, really. So, you know, I don't have a, th a thinner shim with me, but not even three thou out across one side. We'll come down here to the other end. Do the same thing. See if we can slide that shim. Oop, looks like it maybe wants to go under there. We'll try this. Yeah, it looks like we got a little bit of a dish there. Not too much. Let's try that fourth out shim right in that low spot. Nope, can't quite sneak the fourth out shim under there. So we'll call it between three and four thousandths out there. All right, now the big test, diagonally. Um, like I said, I think just based on, you know, messing with this, I think I've got a little bit of a low spot in the middle and sure enough, I can slide that four thou shim underneath there. So we'll try the five thou shim. Five, five thou is pretty tight. And as you can see, I can slide the shim around with that five thou and that's, that's right in the middle. Anywhere else, I'm not even close to getting that other shim. Even the 3 thou shim near the edges, not a chance of getting it under there. So I figure I've got a 5-ish thousandths low spot right there in the middle. We'll switch sides on the other diagonal. Try this. Yep, I can get that 3 thou shim under there. Little bit of resistance with 4 thou. Five thou is quite a bit of resistance right in the middle. If I take it just outside the middle, I move it around. So yeah, looks like I've got a low spot right kind of here in the middle. But other than that, across the entire width of this table in any dimension, I don't seem to be more than about five thousandths out of flat uh, based on my crude testing methodology.